Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Stephen Hodson and Paula Flaherty from uh, WinExtra with our daily brief of Microsoft and Windows news. How you doing, Paul? Uh, pretty good on this um, Labor Day. Yeah. I believe it's Labor Day in Canada as well. Yeah, I've never understood why it's called Labor Day and it's a holiday. You'd think it'd be a work day, you know. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, first up on our list today is... XOPC is bringing out an 11.6 inch Windows 7 tablet. Now, yeah. Go ahead. This looks nice. Yeah, but I have a, I have a real problem. But let, just the quick specs Windows, Microsoft 7 Home Premium, 11.6 inches, uh, 1366 by 768, 135 pixel per inch capacitive multi touch, 2 gig DDR. Uh, to RAM, um, two gigabyte is the max. Intel Anthem Pineview, uh, 1.66 gigahertz, 64 bit support. Intel GMA 500 hard drive and flash ready. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't think we need to go through all the states. The most, the most interesting thing here is probably the solid state drive. This is a nice looking tablet. Um, there's one thing that's going to stop this doing well, and it's the price point. You know, if oh, you want the rest man. of the specs, go check it out on Tablets Planet. But it's it's the price point here that is too much. You're talking about uh, 720 US dollars or 749 Canadian, and it ain't you know, gonna happen. No, I can go out and get myself an amazingly fully loaded laptop <gasps> for that price. Uh, no, thank you. No, it's just I, they've already priced themselves out of the market, and, and you know, if they were going to be going with an interface, I, I really hope that Microsoft does something right and comes out with a more tablet-oriented Windows Seven version. You know, well, the Windows Seven Touch interface works quite well once you get above that sort of five-inch point in terms of the screen. And with this being at 11.6 inches, it, it, that's that's pretty neat. That that that'll work just fine. Yeah. Well. Um. Well, you know what? That might be getting into our wallets anytime no, soon. Not at all. But if it if it does come out, what will be getting into my wallet because I'll be paying <laughs> to go see it at the cinema is Halo the movie. Now we all know the story of Halo the movie. It's you know it was supposed to be done with Peter Jackson of Lord of the Rings, etc. It's been on, it's been off, but apparently recent talk um, out of Microsoft seems to imply that Halo the movie is still on the cards. Well, what I found more interesting is, is the fact that they are possibly thinking of bringing it to the television. And you've got to admit, you put something like a Halo series on HBO or Showtime, like a, a cable network, and give it a good budget, which Microsoft would be willing to do. I, I don't know if I've seen it. I don't know if you watched any of the animated shorts yes. for Halo. Yes, the I DVD did. out. It's like six stories or something. Yeah, they're pretty good, but I can't see really Halo translating as a weekly show in that respect because the main players are pretty much anonymous. You know, we never get to see what Master Chief looks like, etc., etc. I suppose they could take it down a different route, I don't know, but for right now I am kind of excited about the idea of um, of a Halo movie coming out, but you know, it could be some time yet. And I suppose the reason we're hearing Halo movie rumors is because Halo Reach mm -hmm. should be coming yep. this month as well on Xbox. Um, yet another Halo game that I probably won't get into because it looks the same as everything else. Yeah, well, but, um, it's more of a backstory behind Master Chief, from what I understand. Um, I'm not going to say any more on it because I don't want to be talking out of my behind because I haven't really kept up with yeah. it. But, you know, just looking at the screenshots and stuff that I have seen, it, it looks like more of the same. And I sort of separated myself from the Halo franchise after Halo 2. Um, but, you know, that's that. Yeah. But well, speaking of applications we, or programs or yeah, franchise, we have uh, some couple of interesting apps for Windows Phone Seven that have been demoed. Uh, one is the London Travel app, which is actually you know the thing I like about what they're doing or what I'm seeing coming out of Windows Phone Seven is is that we're seeing 
a really good mix of localized type apps plus more global. Like the second one here, which is a Flickr uploader to Windows Phone 7, quite nice. It does a really good job of it. And it, and the other thing I'm, I'm seeing is that they, the developers are really maintaining the Metro UI ethic right throughout their programs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fairly consistent across the board, and we are starting to see a wider range of apps being developed. As, as you said, the first one, the London Travel app, is for literally people who want to get around in London using public transport, the metro and trains and buses, and yeah. get the times and the updates and what's delayed. Uh, the second application there is a Flickr uploader. Very nice, looks very good, seems to work okay, and again, sticks to the metro UI. And the interesting one for me in terms of the metro UI is the link to the game you sent yes. me this morning. That just blew me away. Is, yeah, the game is called Bye Bye Brain. Um, and it's kind of a mix between tower defense and zombies. Yeah. So basically, you know, there's this area that is being attacked by zombies, and you have to strategically place your, you know, your warriors, your little men, in order to sort of head them off. This entire thing is done in 3D, and it looks, it looks sweet. Yeah. And uh, right now, you should, people should probably, you should probably see a clip of the of the video playing while we're talking here. And as you can see from the screens, um, while while they're setting up the game and while they're in the menus, the Metro UI is still there yeah. built into that tree. And it's, it's, it's really nice to see the developers sticking to that yeah. along the way. Now, the only thing that isn't nice is we've gotten the first Windows Phone 7 official ad. <laughs> Now, <laughs> this thing. I'm, you know what? Before I yeah, say it, let's just. Yeah, we're going to play it. So hang in there, have a watch, and we'll be right back. Dude, that thing sucks balls. Uh, Seriously. Could they, could, they, could they not pick an uglier phone? Like, what is it? It's like it's, it's like the repeat of the Zoom. Like, what are yeah, they I doing? Know. I know. It's like, first off, where this was seen is that Windows Phone is sponsoring Secret Cinema uh, events this year. And um, some movie buffs are lucky enough to get to see this ad uh, at the screening of Lawrence of Arabia during the weekends. So... Whoop de do. I mean, yay for you because you know that's a that's a minute of your life you're not going to get back. I mean, they picked. I mean, there's okay. some beautiful looking Windows Seven phones out there. Why that one? I get the idea of the ad. It's cool. I like the ad to a point, but the phone was. Oh man, I'm sorry, but Microsoft, you you keep pulling crap like this, you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. But yeah. hey. You let us know what you think, folks, but for now, we are going to wrap up today. And this has been episode four of uh, Daily Briefs. Paul and I will we see did. you tomorrow, everybody. To yes, we made it to four. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow, folks.